From the John Hopkins University Bloomberg School of Public Health, people with moderate or asymptomatic COVID-19 were previously believed to have escaped most of the virus's devastating side effects. However, recent research has shown that COVID infection increases a person's risk of developing heart problems, such as blood clots, inflammation, and arrhythmias. This risk endures even in otherwise healthy individuals long after the disease has subsided. Ziad Al-Ali, Director of the Clinical Epidemiology Center and Head of the Veterans Affairs Street Louis Healthcare Systems Research and Education Service, stated in an interview, We've known for a while that individuals with severe disease who must be admitted to the hospital or intensive care unit, ICU, may experience heart complications during the acute phase, the first 30 days of COVID-19. Six to a year later, we didn't know what would happen to people's hearts, and we didn't know what would happen to people with mild disease who didn't require hospitalization or intensive care unit care. The main conclusion was that those with COVID-19 have a greater probability of developing various heart issues one year later. This included atrial fibrillation and arrhythmias, irregular heartbeats or the heart beating too quickly or slowly, a fast heart rhythm in a particular pattern. In addition, the study discovered indications of an elevated risk of heart failure and heart attacks, blood clots in the legs and lungs, and stroke. It was clear that there was an elevated risk of various heart conditions. People who smoked frequently had diabetes, heart disease, kidney illness, or other risk factors and were likely to be in the greatest danger. What we discovered is that even in people who were previously healthy and had no risk factors or problems with the heart, even in athletic people, did not have a high BMI, were not obese, did not smoke, did not have kidney disease or diabetes, COVID-19 affected them in such a way that manifested the higher risk of heart problems than people who did not get COVID-19. The risk was also present in those who did not have severe COVID-19 that required hospitalization or ICU treatment was very eye-opening. People who contracted COVID-19 without exhibiting any symptoms or who contracted it in such a minor form that they were able to nurse it at home nevertheless had an elevated chance of developing heart issues a year later. The virus itself and its immune reaction probably lead to a significant amount of inflammation, which then affects the heart and causes some of the signs we've seen here. The endothelial cells that line the heart's arteries could be attacked by COVID-19. Some of these cells could pass away, which would eventually promote the development of blood clots and blockages in the arteries and heart vessels. The so-called ACE receptor is the center of several more pathways. The ACE receptor is the lock that opens the virus's spike protein, which functions like a key. This makes it possible for the virus to enter cells, including heart cells. This research involved about 11 million participants. According to some, the majority of vets are men, but 10% are women, meaning there are more than 1 million women in our study. Similarly, 20% of research participants, or more than 2 million people, are black. In addition, the research team conducted subgroup analyzes to see what would occur in just women, just men, just black or white people, just people under a given age or just people over a certain age they saw an overall rise in the risk of heart issues. This demonstrates that regardless of your gender, race, age, level of inactivity, diabetes, smoking status, chronic renal disease, or other cardiovascular risk factors, you are still at risk for cardiovascular disease. The risk was across the board and driven by COVID-19. Unfortunately, no one was safe. The collective term for all post-acute manifestations brought on by COVID-19 is known as long COVID. It begins from the acute phase that lingered and persisted over time, or it might be brand new effects brought on by SARS-CoV-2 that had occurred three, four, or five months ago. It becomes abundantly evident that the heart manifestations we discussed in our research are integral to the bigger picture of extended COVID when you keep that concept in mind. Long-term COVID use can make you tired and foggy-headed and cause new-onset diabetes, renal issues, and heart issues. Together, this creates a lengthy COVID with many facets and layers. This does not imply that one patient will have each of these. The study believes long-term COVID may impact between 4% and 7% of persons. That may sound very modest, but it isn't when you consider the enormous number of Americans who have COVID, more than 80 million as of this writing. According to our estimates, millions of people with long-term COVID will require medical attention. Therefore, generally speaking, our health systems must be ready. 
people in charge of hospitals or clinics must prepare for the influx of patients with heart difficulties and other severe COVID issues. Government must unquestionably be ready for this. However, it must recognize the pandemic's long-term effects to move on. The long-term effects will be considerably more severe, endure for decades, and leave many people in our immediate vicinity scarred. This report describes a lot of chronic illnesses that will, impact, people for the rest of their lives. For instance, you don't suddenly stop having heart failure when you wake up tomorrow. It doesn't function like that. We are now dealing with chronic ailments that will require long-term treatment rather than issues that might be better tomorrow. Governments, healthcare institutions, and the general public must be ready.